Well, and you also made mention of this earlier, but you have a predictive ETA tool. And I think something like that could be a real game changer for businesses like IFG and obviously any any business in, in the other industries as well. Do you want to talk just a tiny bit about that? And then I've got a question from Indranil, and I think you might be giving away secrets on this one, but they want to know how does Ocean Insights collate all these events? And so I, those two kind of go together. So I'm throwing them both at you, Robin. Sure. Okay. Well, then let me uh, just say something about the predictions here. So the predictions, that's, that's something we're extremely proud of. Um, we've, we came up with this sometime uh, late, late 2019. And uh, as, as I mentioned, we figured out that uh, many customers are, were unhappy with the accuracy coming from uh, the ETA accuracy from the shipping lines. We found a way, in fact, on a technical level, many different ways of uh, spotting um, patterns in the data that will, you know, with some probability, um, identify shipments that will run late. And when we, you know, when customers or when, when you know, usually talk about predictions and everyone thinks about AI and machine learning and these kind of things, sure, this is also what we're going to use. But we also have different means, much simpler means, and, and in other words, also more reliable means to come up with uh, good predictions. So we just put together mark intelligence data about the saving schedules, and then we cross-check this with um, the actual uh, vessel's journey, what we, you know, with the containers that we monitor on behalf of a customer. And then, you know, with just basic statistics, if you want, you can identify some probable ETA changes weeks in advance. And this potentially makes a huge difference because if we can tell you right on the first day of shipping that it's basically impossible to catch the connection at the transshipment port, and hence uh, it's impossible to deliver this thing on time uh, six weeks later at the port of Los Angeles, for example. Well, then you have six weeks uh, to react. Tim, did you want to jump in there? Yeah, I, I want to jump in on one thing real quick. One thing that it really has helped us with is the ERDs, earliest re receipt date on containers. The larger vessels have really caused havoc with, you know, when a port can receive containers, you know, the, the port reefer lines for us might be full. So understanding exactly when that vessel's coming in any what it could be a matter of hours so you know erd and, and things like that is extremely important to understand that affects your your all your shoreside um, infrastructure and having good information has helped us make better decisions and, and reduce our costs 